What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to take you through how I made this sports graphic. Uh, it's a lot of photos to put together. I'm gonna to show you what my thought process is in combining all these guys together and making it flow. Then how I use adjustment layers and lighting and stock images to build the background and make them all merge together and fit into one piece. So let's head into Photoshop, take a look. So this is the final graphic that we're gonna end up with. I'm gonna take you through layer by layer what my thought process was in composing this piece. And it all starts down here at the bottom with a white layer. Base layer, I already knew I wanted to have a light color graphic. So I started with white and went from there. Um, and then it comes down to, to fitting the players in an order that makes sense. Um, for me, I added all the guys that I had a full body shot to the bottom row. Um, I wanted to be able to highlight those full body shots. I think it works really well when you're able to add player, add shadows and make it look like they're standing on something. It gives it a cool effect, um, kind of my style. Um, what you really want to think about is kind of the direction that all of your players are facing when you're putting them in order. You don't want to just throw them any kind of way. Um, I've kind of got it where their bodies are turned. They're all turned going a certain direction. Um, some more, some less. It's not perfect, but I have these three guys are kind of facing this way. These three guys are either centered or facing this way more so. So it fits pretty well. And I also have them going in like a V shape. The two front guys are a little bit in front of everybody. Middle row, third row, they're a little farther back. Um, so I start by placing those guys there. Then I had a couple other guys I had to fit in. Um, some pretty good pictures, but they weren't necessarily going to fit um, the same way as the others. Like this one was a half, half body shot. So I had to figure out a way to make it fit. Added it here. And I added another Boozer twin here. Ace Bailey there. So I cut these images all out and I placed them behind in the second row and I erased everything um, up under here that you could see. So they are just kind of look like they're coming out from behind the players. It kind of gives you a focus. Um, as soon as you see the graphic, your eyes are going to be drawn towards the players in the middle of the screen. Next thing I think about is how am I going to fit the header or the logo into this piece? Um, so for this one, I went pretty simple. I think the images tell a good story on this. I wanted to focus on those, focus on the images of the players. So I started off with, um, I used the Nike text, Futura, Condensed Extra Bold. Battle on the Peach was the name of the event. Double Trouble Presents, a little subtitle. And behind it, I lowered the opacity um, to, of 2022 to 40. That's a Helvetica font. I thought it, those two kind of paired pretty well. Um, after that, after that, I added the title of the whole the whole reason for the graphic, the top performers with the players' names. I kind of had an idea in mind. I knew I wanted to put a design mostly in the middle of this and not really on the outside. So I figured I'd have room. Um, so I went ahead and added that just for sake of having it. Um, I already knew I could, you can delete that if you don't like it after. <clears throat> so we've got our main content. Now I, now I like to build around that. Um, for the background, I use this piece of paper. I'll show you. This is what the piece of paper looks like. I use this piece of paper and I just lowered the opacity. So it's just a black piece of paper. Then with a clipping mask, if you didn't know, um, clipping mask is control alt G. What that does is this, this city image, if I push control alt G again, it's going to put that city image inside of that piece of paper. And anywhere it goes, it is going to stay inside of that piece of paper. Um, and that is the full city image it's downtown Atlanta. Got some landmarks. A lot of people from Atlanta would recognize. After that, I like to do this a lot. I just added a court court floor. All right. Um, the full image is here. All I did was erase this part or mask. Actually, I masked this, making it a little bit smoother. Um, 
kind of like like it just disappears into the background, like it just fades away. Then I added a levels, really just brightened all that up and kind of merges them together well. Um, levels is good if you mess with these settings over here. It's going to lighten and darken your darks, lighten your lights, darken your darks. Um, just start using those, playing with those a little bit. It does a great job blending things together. Um, next, I wanted to add some detail. I kind of just typed in the name of the event really large in the same font that we did the title. Um, I kind of like the way it looked. Uh, gives it a little bit more detail, uh, a little bit more excitement in the graphic. And then I added a blur. Um, just so you can see it, I'll go in here to the settings. And then on the field blur, you can actually adjust which parts are blurred and which parts are not. And I just played around with that and got what I liked. Um, then after that, I added noise. Um, next, I added this piece. Um, it's a sticker pack from uh, Ethan J Designs, I think is the name does a really cool stuff for the NBA um, and he has a pack on his site that I, I have um, a lot of stickers a lot of paper a lot of lens fair flares but I added this sticker I um, mean I put it on exclusion I just kind of like the way it merged with the city background added a little bit of wrinkles nothing crazy but some cool detail um, same thing over here added another one gives it like a corner and then I finally was able to piece in a place to put the logo. I thought it fit pretty well right there without being too big. I really don't like using that logo. It's hard to use. It's pretty big. Um, now I would have went through and added shadows to the feet. Bam, I'm just going to go ahead and add these so you can see them. And I'll show you how, I, how it's done on one player here in just a second. But I just went through and I, I used a soft black brush to add shadows. Bam, there they all have shadows. And just for the sake of the video, I'll show you how, it, how I do that on here. Here's my process for added shadows under a player's feet. Um, so over here, make sure you've got the black brush selected. You can do that by changing the colors, bam. Come to your brush tool up here. Make sure you flatten this out. Not too flat, but you'll be able to tell. And put the hardness all the way at zero. Size up a little bit. You can play with that after. And put your opacity pretty low, somewhere around 15 to 20. Now that we're there, we can zoom in to the feet. And you can see the shape of my brush is the shape that we just distorted that circle. Um, Let's see, if you use the key here, you can make your brushes larger, smaller, larger and smaller. So I'm just going to come down here and under the foot, I'm going to make it a pretty dark shadow, like directly under the foot. And I'm going to adjust the size as I click and I'm just clicking through. I want this to be kind of almost black right up under his foot. All right, and that looks pretty good. Let's zoom out and take a look. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not bad, but we are not done. We'll zoom back in. Now, opacity still low. I'm going to just click once, twice, just a little bit, and trying to make a smooth shadow go in the direction of his body. And there we go. There's a shadow effect. Um, first, actually, I went through and I did camera raw on all the players. If you don't know how to use camera raw, I'll make a separate video on this. Um, takes care of all your effects for you. Can take a really dull, flat photo and, and do a lot with it. Um, for sports graphics, you specifically, ideally, a lot of them are going to, you're going to want to use a lot of texture, um, some extreme contrast to lighten up your your highlights and darken your shadows kind of makes them pop a little bit more but just play with the settings here um, and get what you like and i went through and i did that with every player um, i kind of copy the settings so they're all similar looking 
and then adjust as needed. I want them all to have the same kind of feel. Bam, and as you can see, it's it's changing them all a little bit. I didn't go overboard, but I definitely did add some effects to these guys. I added a levels layer to every player, and what I did was bring the black in. I wanted to lighten up the shadows a little bit, make them a little less drastic, and also kind of gives the, the image a little scratchy effect. Um, as you can see, when I add it, what it does kind of lightens everything up the shit the darks are getting lighter um, it's still it doesn't look great yet but it's the same effect I'm put it on every player um, kind of blends them all together pretty well and at the end it'll all make a little more sense and then I added one more bigger shadow to kind of encompass all of these guys down here on the bottom and I have that shadow kind of fading down towards the bottom of the graphic like they're walking towards us and it's not exact shadow i could spend more time and make that more pronounced but i think that does the job All right. then i added some lens flares and light leaks um if you want to so I added this image i think this came from ethan j as well i think all of these did these light leaks i use his a lot um but I just place it down and put it on screen. Screen makes your your black um, kind of fades away and it brings the light out in the image. Same thing here. You can see another one. All it adds is this small little light leak. But I kind of liked the look it added. Um, then here, tops and bottoms, I just added, it's just a piece of paper on darken. Just added this piece of paper, adds wrinkles to the corners. Then a color lookup really brightens it up a lot. If you never use the color lookup, come over here to adjustments tab. Color lookup is this little grid. Um, a lot of different options on here. And then you can also find people to download and use. Um, once again, this one is from Ethan J's pack. No, oh, that one. So you can see it completely changed the direction of the graphic. Um, really brightens it up gives it a lot more orange and red um, a lot more life and then i did a selective color um, i thought you know we had some faded colors in here so i used selective color i played with the reds and the blacks a little bit and brightened it up give it a little more contrast Um, next, I did an image apply image. If you don't know what that is, if you go to image apply image, okay, it's going to take everything that you've made up to that point and put it on one layer. So I did that and I added my finishing touches um, with a little bit of sharpen. If you can see the difference that makes. I sharpened it up. I wanted it to be kind of scratchy looking, so I added that sharpen on top. And then finish it up with the curves. I wanted to make it have even more contrasted, scratchy look. So I added the curves, brought my, my blacks in, midtones in a little bit, and gave it a scratchy, sharp look. That's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you were able to learn something from it. Hopefully I provided you some value in some way. Um, please be on the lookout for more videos. If you like this, um, comment, let me know. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Um, until next time, see you.